Hey Rabbags, it's Jade with a little Valheim news video today. Take a look at this. This is probably the longest look we've had at the incoming Ashlands update. Well, admittedly, it's not incoming very soon, but it's given us a sense of what to expect. It looks absolutely crazy. I don't know how I feel about these meteorites. Is this going to be happening just all the time? Is this going to be maybe a special event? We're going to dive into that a little bit. Also, what's going on with the Hilda's Quest update? When's it going live for everyone? Well, you should probably relax a little because it looks like it won't be here for maybe another week or two yet. And if somehow you haven't bought Valheim and you're thinking about it and you come across this video, there's no better time to go pick it up. It's currently in the Steam sale, 40% off under a tenner the best game of 2020 absolutely no wait 2021 get it now if somehow you haven't or buy another copy for a friend and get them to come and play the game with you so the Hilda's Quest update has been live for a couple of weeks now in the public test beta branch and the Xbox Insider program I'm going to show you guys how to access that at the end and also ask for you to do something very specific if you want to report any bugs or issues actually I'll do it now Effectively, even if you're on Xbox, if you're playing the PTB, do make sure you're actually giving feedback. I'm not too sure if the Xbox Insider program has a dedicated splash page or anything where you can actually say, hey, I've got a really bad bug or I don't like this particular part that you've added. So definitely consider joining the Valheim Visual Discord. I'll pop a link in the comment section and go to the Valheim public test. I've got all sorts of bugs as well, especially for the Xbox bugs discussion. Really would help if they get more people from Xbox side of things actually detailing problems and issues. I know, I know there's still the problem with worlds being wiped occasionally, but any other kind of issues that the devs maybe don't know about, this is the place to go and report it right now. Obviously still taking feedback about the update, hence why it's not gone live for everyone. And by looks of things, some developers are probably going to be on holiday either this week or next week. So I'm not expecting it maybe to go live until I would say probably around the maybe 14th, maybe a bit sooner, but that's when I expect Hilda's test to maybe go live. I don't think it's going to go live this upcoming week. I did a pretty in-depth recap video of everything that's just been added. I don't want to spoil it just too much here, but you should obviously know about the new clothing items. And of course, there are some more special creatures that you may have to go and find, and I'll leave it at that. But by now, if you play in Valheim, you've probably seen every other tuber under the sun show off some of that new stuff. And if you don't want any spoilers, then of course, they're blacked out on the actual post. But new NPC, new locations, world modifiers added, new crafting extensions, new hair and beard styles, new items, lots of miscellaneous quick fixes, and better things to do with building, snapping stuff, as well as quick stack button added. This also represents a lot of work they've been doing behind the scenes to make sure that the technology is running well for everyone, especially with crossplay, Xbox support, and going forward, I do believe. So yeah, that's my best guess. Judging by some of the developers having time off, etc. And they did state as well when it was going live that it'd probably be in there for maybe two or three weeks this time. I'm not expecting it this week, maybe more than likely, hopefully next week. One bit of feedback I've got is I really want the Discord to set up some sort of bot to post Valheim related tweets from the devs because on Twitter at the moment, unless you're paying the blue tick tax, you are having issues sometimes seeing tweets. I love Twitter. I ain't paying no stupid blue tick subscription, but it's been limiting people to only see 600 tweets or so every now and then, which meant I didn't get to see this amazing clip of the Ashlands until very late last night, early this morning. It looks bonkers. It does reference again what we kind of had hints at in interviews with Grimm, the developer behind most of the Ashlands ideas, etc. He did state there might be some sort of world cataclysm event or there might be some sort of trigger to change the landscape. And this is looking like what this is. I don't think this is going to be just what it's like all the time. I think people would probably get annoyed if there was meteorites falling every two seconds. Obviously, when you think about the metal ore that you get from the meteorites in the Ashlands at the moment, it always did feel like it was meteorites that were falling to the earth. So yeah, do we trigger this by defeating a boss? Is it going to be just something that we summon with specific trophies? I love the idea of this. I really hope it does change the landscape somewhat. But by looks of things, it's certainly going to make it more difficult to get across, more fiery. And yeah, you might have to avoid certain areas or get the hell out of the Ashlands unless you can build something to withstand the huge amount of meteorites crashing to the earth. So this was shared by Jonathan Smiles, programmer at Valheim. And it's looking great. You can even see a charred creature there as well. 
chasing after the Viking. Super excited about this, but as always, don't expect it until the end of the year, maybe even the beginning of next year. They've got other stuff planned as well, but Hilda's update has been coming now. But either way, this is pretty exciting to see where they're going with this one. So once again, I'm doing a little tutorial on the Xbox Insider program, or at least posting where you need to go. There is a huge FAQ that tells you all the details about the different rings and how you can participate if you can't see it in there. But effectively, if you're on Xbox or on PC, you're looking for the Xbox Insider Hub. It's an app on the Xbox Store, you download it, and if you own Valheim or you have it on Games Pass, you should see it. So do, like I said, go and try some of the Hilda's Quest stuff out if you can't wait until the full update goes live for everyone and give some much needed feedback, especially from the console side of things. And that's it. I will see you for more Valheim news soon. I have got some more Valheim videos incoming. I still need to take a look at certain aspects of the Hilda's Quest. But I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to wait until the update is more or less live now. And I'm looking at starting a brand new Let's Play series very, very soon on my 100 Days channel. I'll be live streaming my new adventures. So come and check me out on there as well. Plug, 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 plug. I've just covered Forever Skies. I've done Sons of the Forest, Small Land, Above Snakes, live streams, and then an edited video. Really appreciate it if you go and give me a subscription. You'll find a link to that channel in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you rat bags later.